only on Christ 17 TV. Today, I got one for you. We're going to talk about the top five Joes in sports all time. All time. Now, that's a little different. So, I'm going to think now. There's a few I got right off the top, but I don't want to leave anybody out who's, you know, who's put their work in. So, I'm going to start at number one. And if you know me, you know I'm a huge Yankees fan. And I would have to go with my man, Joe DiMaggio. Okay? Joe DiMaggio is definitely my number one Joe of all time. Close. Because my number two Joe of all time, when I was a young kid and I used to be quarterback playing in the playground, in the streets, in the snow, in the rain, I wanted to be Joe Montana. Joe Montana is definitely number two on my list. Joe Montana is number two. Him and Joe DiMaggio was close. Now we're going to go number three. Number three, I'm going to probably have to go way back to one of the most flashiest dressers and the coolest name, Broadway Joe. Joe Namath. The only time the Jets have ever won a Super Bowl, it was with Broadway Joe. And I can't leave Broadway Joe out of my top five. That's a hard one. Now, for the next one, I don't know. Um, when I was a young kid, I liked the Phillies. I liked the Yankees. And when the Phillies made the World Series versus the Toronto Blue Jays, I'll never forget that. I was watching the game. I was on the floor in front of the TV like this. And... Joe Carter, Toronto Blue Jays, hit a walk-off, game-winning, game-clinching home run in the World Series. I want to say it was 93. I want to say, wow, I, I might be off. I think it was 93. But yeah, Joe Carter broke my heart that year because I was a huge Lenny Dykstra fan. When I played outfield, I liked to dive, steal bases. Lenny Dykstra was one of my favorite players of all time. So I would have to go with Joe Carter, number four. Number five is kind of hard because I'm running out of Joes now that are famous, Hall of Famers, things of that nature. But a name I always heard when I was growing up who was a great football player, but he had a Bad leg freaking injury that ruined his career. And this would be the one and only Joe Theismann. Joe Theismann. Yep, Joe Theismann. So, we got Joey D, Joe DiMaggio, number one. We got Joe Montana, Quarterback for the Niners, number two. We got Broadway, baby. Ain't nothing like Broadway Joe, man. Every time he sets foot in New York City, he's the man still. We got Joe Namath, number three. Number four. One of the most famous World Series highlights of all time is Joe Carter hitting that walk-off home run against the Philadelphia Phillies in the World Series and him jumping around the bases damn near, all the way to home plate, okay? That was, th th I still see that shit in my dreams, okay? And to go last, I really never got to see him play. Only seen highlights, but Joe Theismann, they said, was one of the best if he never got hurt. And let me throw, let me throw you that curveball. If the Browns win the Super Bowl, we're going to have to include Joe Flacco. Yep, I said it. Joe Flacco. If he takes the Browns and wins the Super Bowl with the Browns, 
we got to put Joe in there. I'm not going to lie. We got to put Joe Flacco in there if he takes the Browns where they never been. Okay? To the promised land. Well, with that being said, this is Christ 17 TV with his top five Joes sports of all time. Drop your five below in the comments. I want to know. I want to know your top five Joes of all time. And we ain't talking about Joe Biden or no bullshit or Joe Rogan. We talking about sports. So don't leave me no bullshit in the comments about Joe Rogan or Joe Biden or or fucking Joe Schmo. I want to hear the five sports Joes of all time. Okay? With that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. This is Christ 17 TV, and I'm checking out, and I'll catch you on the flip side with five Joes.